Hi, Capricorn. It's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights. Your favorite tarot reader, duh. Your favorite astrologer. Yes, Capricorn, I love you. I love you. I love you. I just want to tell you that. My goodness, your energy is on fire this season. Oh, my God. Woo, Capricorn, I have not felt this for you in a really long time. My goodness. Honey, this is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, and Rising. Overall life and love energy for the month of August 2019. Yes, honey, we are. Oh. Listen, 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 listen. Capricorn, when I say that your energy is so beautiful this season, you should be so proud of yourself. I, I am proud of you. I feel like you guys are like, <laughs> let me tell you something. I don't know who is in love or who's falling in love or who's getting married or who's thinking of marriage. Oh, goodness. This is some deep, deep stuff, Capricorn. Listen, first of all, okay, on one side, it seems like you guys are like working through something like, um, like some type of journey, like you guys are like seeking something you want to, you have this, this strong, intense desire to do something or to escape your daily routine. I feel like you guys are acting up this season. Like you're just, you have this, this mentality of yes, yes, yes. Like <laughs> you guys are like just showing off and I love it. Yes, Capricorn. But I feel like a lot of you have this, this intense energy to just want to do something like something broader bigger than you like something exciting more adventurous and I feel like you guys are breaking away from like this this um like there's nothing wrong with having structure right but I feel like you guys are like okay I've been doing this for years now it's time for me to just like whoo let my hair down and relax honey <laughs> that's what I feel for you I just feel like you just like yes Right? Like, pass me the drink. <laughs> Where's the bartender? Like, I just feel like, I just see, like, you guys, like, just feeling liberated for some reason. Like, you guys are, like, uppity. This is really, really amazing, Capricorn. Considering everything that has been happening for, like, the past eight months, like wow this is really like yes like i love your energy this season i mean there's gonna be some delays i mean don't get me wrong like mercury did go retrograde in july from july 7th or 8th right until july 31st but of course mercury retrograde is not gonna let us get off that easy of course not like that first week and a half of course expect to have a headache Okay, expect people to be getting on your nerve. Expect people to not be on time when they say they're going to be there. Like, expect it because that is what Mercury Retrograde does. It slows things down. It stops us in our track. But this is what I love about this whole Mercury Retrograde thing is that it literally went retrograde in your opposite sign, Cancer. So the whole month of July, there was this, this thing where there was like a lot of love, a lot of discussions about love and romance and people trying to work their way like back into your life, right? And um, just like basically like a lot of excitement about just a little bit of everything, you know, about children and finances, home. Like you guys were literally trying to take action on things that really meant a lot to you. You guys were taking action on. So like you guys were starting that book, starting that new job, starting that new project you know working on that new baby like you guys were just putting things into perspective so this was really really good but here in the month of august this is like i'm in love duh <laughs> and i'm smiling capricorn because this is deeper <laughs> i've this is deeper than just love honey this is possibly even falling back in love or um I, I even feel like there's some type of contract that's involved as well some of you are um skeptical about signing some type of contract or there will be something that is delayed because you haven't yet signed this particular contract oh i don't know what it is but for some of you this could be a marriage situation this could be a housing situation this could be something more structured and legal perhaps okay 
But this is really going to open your eye and kind of um, open your heart a bit more. I just see a lot. I just sense like a lot of um, compassion from you. Um, oh, why did I say Scorpio? Wow. Ooh, this is not a Scorpio reading. <laughs> Capricorn, I sense a lot of compassion out of you, okay? And I don't know, maybe it has something to do with a Scorpio. Who knows? Like, maybe you're falling in love with a Scorpio. Maybe you're already dating one. Maybe you're already married to one, right? But I feel like the month of July was, like, really... Um, kind of like taking action to do something but the month of august is like yes it's finally done i can move on with my life but i will be honest with you capricorn the first week and a half it's probably going to be a little edgy it's probably going to give you a headache just because there's going to be a lot of loose ends, things that you need to fix, things that you need to address. And for those of you that feel like, oh, my God, I just want to break away. I just want to be free. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want any more drama. I don't want any more headaches, right? You may feel a bit still stuck, but you are not stuck. That is the reality of it. It's like it's either... You may feel like people are trying to force you to sign something, or you may be just, it may be required. You get what I'm saying? Like, again, it could be um, a wedding, it could be housing, it could be just some type of legal paperwork or something that you agreed to perhaps during Mercury Retrograde, and now the time has come for you to actually sign the paperwork, and now you're having second thoughts. So for a lot of you, this is like, okay, but if I do this, and I may not have that if I you know so I feel like there's some definitely some decisions that you need to make and you know I feel like you're not really tapping into your resources though Capricorn I feel like you know what you know but I feel like you a lot of you are afraid to kind of just trust your heart at this moment just because a lot of you feel like your heart has let you down previously um and the angel of balance is literally here saying, listen, don't worry about all that. Don't worry about the past, you know? we. This is like new life for you, a whole new beginning, a whole new fresh start. So the universe is asking that you have a leap of faith this season, my love. Take that risk. If you don't, I mean, listen, Mercury retrograde will be over July 31st, Is you know, but that first week, we're still going to be dealing with a lot of that energy. Let's face it, right? We're still going to be dealing with a lot of that. So communication may feel a little, even though the full moon was in your sign, July 16th, I mean, there were still some indifferences and still some challenges in that area when it came to love and family and finances. Like, there were still some um, contradictions. Okay, that's the word I'm going to think of. But I feel like when it comes to love, okay, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you would even possibly propose to or um, ask to do something for a loved one and you are hesitating or you will be hesitating, okay? But the universe is saying, take that leap of faith. Go for it. Mercury retrograde is over, right? We have the new moon in Leo, and oh my God, when the new moon is in Leo, we all naturally just feel liberated, uplifted, inspired, in love, and spontaneous, and ready to take on whatever is coming at us, right? So for you, Capricorn, this is literally the moment for you to tap into your compassion, we know how serious you could be when it comes to dynamics and home and reality and work and career-related issues, right? But this is the season to really focus on your home environment, my love. And and not in the sense, uh, I just feel like there's going to be some type of shit. So for some of you, may end up pregnant. For some of you, this could be some type of children coming along. Um, this could, I just feel like, you know, this is a season for you to kind of take that leap of faith you know, remember to love yourself first and then others, you know what I mean? Because if we're not taking care of ourselves, how can we be of assistance to other people? You get what I'm saying? So I feel like the universe is saying, listen, be compassionate with yourself. Have patience with yourself, you know? Release any type of negative thoughts or any perceptions that you had of this particular individual. For a lot of you, this could be a situation or a person, Okay, so you have may have had these these memories or thoughts of a particular person not really doing right by you totally, and now it's like all of this love is just like all up in your face, <laughs> Capricorn. <laughs> like all of this love is just all up in your face. 
Mm-hmm. So you just can't let it go. But no matter what happens, okay, remember to love yourself. There's no greater love in the world than loving yourself, okay? This is the moment for you to put your heart's true desire into action, okay? Release any type of judgments that you have had about yourself or other people. Like, if you really had some, have some doubt back in July or for the past six months recently about, you know, what kind of mother you would be, what kind of parent you would be, or what kind of teacher you would be, you know, Capricorn, you are very studious, you know, and you you love knowledge. And so that alone really makes you a great teacher because you don't mind absorbing knowledge and sharing it with others. Like you are known for being one of the zodiac signs that is really great when it comes to resources. And I feel like you guys are really shy of that this season for some reason. Like I want you guys to pay attention to all the dreams and visions and things that come to you this season because something is t totally amazing and in mind blowing this season when it comes to love like this is a life and love energy so that means that this is general like I can talk about career I can talk about love but for you my love like love is like the key here okay and it has a lot to do with some type of contract and this could be a romantic love thing this could be family love this could be sibling love this could be friendship love I just feel like love it just like give me a fucking hug and I'm proud of you, Capricorn. I'm proud of the fact that you are not resisting, that you are embracing. There's going to be a change in your home, Capricorn. Whether it is uh, somebody is moving in or somebody is moving out or you guys are renovating or redecorating or adding pictures or taking away or you're doing something amazing when it comes to your home. This could just simply mean that there's going to be a whole new amount of peace and abundance and love within your home. So maybe that's what I'm feeling. So whatever resource or whatever you uh, wanted or whatever you desired in the month of May and June and July and you did not get it, the universe is saying, listen, the doors are open for you. Just simply sign the fucking contract. <laughs> don't be so skeptical about signing the contract, Capricorn. I don't know what it is. This, again, for a lot of you, only you know what it is, Capricorn. For a lot of you, this could be marriage. It could be a baby. It could be anything. <laughs> it could be housing. It could be a car. Listen, you don't have to be afraid. Mercury retrograde is over, my love. So live your best life. And don't forget that G1 writer told you first. All right? So please like and share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. Ooh. I love you, Capricorn. Thank you. Bye.